I'm truly wearing more plaid than any man ever should. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another week of Monday Monologues. I'm your host Buddy Kane. That sounded terrible. We only have a few days left until Valentine's Day. I get very mixed feelings about Valentine's Day. It's become a standard that you have to spend a lot of money to show somebody you care about them. Christmas was just here two months ago. That's another holiday that people just emphasize spending money to show how you care about each other. I feel weird about this. One, because I'm very poor. I have no money. I make YouTube videos. Two, you should always show somebody that you care about them. It, it's ingrained into our minds that this Hallmark holiday is a big deal. I'm pretty sure I have a seltzer in every video. It'll be in the background somewhere. I need to hide it. Hold on. Now it's gone. This monologue has nothing to do with Valentine's Day. It's just Valentine's Day is coming. It's here. I wanted to address it. Be, be a nice person. Treat people the way you want to be treated. It's that simple. I don't understand why it's so difficult and what gets misconstrued in that message. Anyways, this video has nothing to do with that. Any of the, any of the things I just said, throw it out the window. Except the good stuff, which was all of it. Remember everything I just said. Did you ever have a job that you don't really like that much? And you're like, it's obvious, you, you don't care. You're not really invested day to day. You're lackadaisical. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This week's monologue is about a guy that has a job he doesn't like very much, but he still needs a job. His hobbies include eating and living, you know? You need money for those things. That's why you have a job, okay? And because he's not very invested, he's often late. He doesn't show up sometimes. He's not very successful. So it's time he gets fired, you know? And he needs to make up an excuse as to why he should keep this job. So if you've ever had a job that you feel isn't really your calling, but you like to eat, so you need money, let me know what that job was after this video, and if you can sympathize with this guy in the skit. Carl, I have been with this company for a year and a half. That's practically an eternity in the insurance game. Now I may not have any prospects, or have even made any sales, but I have brought some pep to this corporate step. And if I may add, a tear or two have been shed out of sheer laughter at the water cooler. All because of me. And you firing me for missing work or, or showing up late is a civil injustice. I'm a GD national treasure around here, okay? Why'd I miss work yesterday? I missed work yesterday because there was a platypus in the middle of the road, injured and hopeless. I did what any civilian would do and I sprung into action. I pulled over in traffic got out and held that majestic creature until animal control came. Well, that, that's why I missed my shift. Animal control never came. So I just sat there holding dear Frederick in my arms and let him know he is loved. Well, that's also why I was late today. I was late today because the platypus would not eat his oatmeal. And everyone knows an injured platypus needs to eat breakfast. You don't believe me. I don't care if you believe me. You bel it's the truth. I'm leaving, okay? Not because you claim I'm fired or lazy. I'm leaving to go home and get my dear Frederick. And I will bring him here. And you will see his soft beaver-like fur, webbed hands. And if you don't play your cards right and keep this up, you're going to see his talons. Carl, did you know that platypi are venomous? I did. 
and I still sprung into action. I'm no hero. I did what any man would do. And I'm bringing him here! Have you gone to lengths like that to lie about why you need a job? If you have, post Malone below what you've said or what you what truth you've stretched to show that you need the job. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up thumbs up button. Not not the down. The up button. Subscribe to it. Share it on whatever social media you use. And stay tuned for next week. If you do go to Valentine's dinner this week, please save me some leftovers. Platypus noises. Engage! If you are having a good... If you are celebrating Valent... Ugh. If you are celebrating Valentine... Ugh. If you... Ugh. Blech. Ugh. I am a living blooper reel.